we're going to discuss with you the single action parts that's manufactured by Power Custom Grandmaster. Now we manufacture Colt Hammers, which is a standard hammer with a Bisley spur. This is for the 1873 Colt Peacemaker. This is a standard spur, and we also manufacture triggers. We manufacture oversized paws for these models of revolvers. The rest of the single action parts that we manufacture is all for Ruger revolvers. We'll start with the old three screw model Rugers. These are the old ones that originally had a half cock notch and a safety notch on them. We manufacture a standard hammer that can be in the bright or it can be blued. We manufacture a three screw hammer that's a Bisley hammer and we also, to go along with it, or either one of the hammers, we manufacture the wide trigger, which is like the old three-screw Super Blackhawk firearms head. Oversized paw and a standard narrow trigger and an oversized cylinder latch. Now the rest of the parts we manufacture, as far as hammers and triggers go, are all for the later model Ruger revolvers that have transfer bars. So for the small frame, 2232 size, we make four different hammers for them. A standard hammer with a half cock notch is blued. A standard one with a half cock notch is polished. We make a standard size hammer, but it has a Bisley spur on it that's blued for the small frame the same thing in polished. Oversized cylinder latches will fit all different models as long as they have the transfer bar in them that's larger than the 2232 frame up to the Blackhawks. Same thing with the free spin paw. We make probably six different free spin paws of all different configurations for different models of the Rugers. Also we make a Loading gate spring, which is reduced power. It's wider and more precision manufactured and is easier for the operator to operate the loading gate when this is properly installed and fitted. When you put a half cock hammer and trigger kit in your revolver, you have to alter your transfer bar. We alter factory transfer bars so you do not have to go to trouble to grind a square notch in there of the correct size. <clears throat> now for the front sights for custom alterations, when you're putting on a custom barrel, you have to replace the front sight. We manufacture four different types of single action front sights. All of them are 1 8 inch thick, various height. Actually, it's six different sights we manufacture that have to be silver soldered on the barrel strictly a gunsmith process. But back to the hammers on the new models, we make a Bisley hammer, which is this one. We make a Bisley hammer that's blued and a Bisley hammer that's polished bright. We had calls from Matata hammers, so we manufacture a full-size Matata hammer that's blued and one that's polished bright. And then we have the standard hammers, both in blue and bright, with the standard spurs on them. And if you're doing uh, triggers, which you will be if you use a hammer, you need a trigger. So we manufacture two different types of triggers. A standard Blackhawk type trigger, both blued and polished, bright. And then if you have a alteration that requires a Bisley trigger, which would be one that has a Bisley trigger guard, you would need a Bisley trigger, which we have them in blued and polished. Now with a complete action job, after the job's completed, it's not really finished until you put shims in your action to shim up the horizontal movement on your hammer and your trigger. So these come in kits of 10 for the hammer shim, and the same way, kits of 10 for the trigger shims. So this fits on all of them from the small frame to the large frame.
Now we also manufacture several different sizes of back straps and trigger guards. This is a P series type Colt profile, but it fits on a Ruger single action revolver. They work on everything from the small frame to the large frame. We have them in brass in 4140 or 4130 steel for blued alterations and also in stainless steel for all models of Ruger revolvers. We've also added another line of a 1877 Colt bird's head grip, which they come both in brass, stainless steel, and in 4140 steel for the blue guns. The Keith number no. five is proven to be very popular and it only comes in a blued back strap. And the front straps and the back straps will all interchange with each other. Now, you'll need an oversized base pin. So we manufacture 14 different types of base pins, all for Ruger single actions. They're key style, both blued and stainless. And we make the same thing, only it is a gnarled head, a shorter head for like a uh, sheriff's model alteration where you need a little longer travel on your ejector rod. And then they all come with complete instructions and an Allen key to lock your base pin in. All base pins have locks on them and are quality precision made and ground to exact size. Now, if you're a professional and you're installing several base pins, you need a reamer. The easiest way to install a base pin is to run a reamer from the rear of the frame through the back hole in the frame up through the front hole where the base pin goes, and that will align the two holes. Many times the back hole is off in reference to the front hole, and it's hard to get the base pin in. So a reamer will do the job. Also, for cylinder end shake, you can use our end shake bushing, and it has to have the cylinder machined and this bushing installed, and then after that's properly installed, you can use shims behind this bushing to adjust it as the cylinder end shake wears on your revolver. So that's strictly a professional gunsmith alteration. That's one of many things that we manufacture for the revolvers.